Hi, Els here, and in this video we'll be learning about how to report expenses on the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income. As noted in my previous video, expenses are not a required line item under Canadian IFRS. However, one of the required line items is profit or loss from all operations. This can only be calculated when expenses such as cost of goods sold or depreciation are included. It is therefore clear that the line item expenses must be presented in the statement. In addition, IAS 1, in paragraph 99, recommends that the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income include an analysis of the expenses classified in one of two ways, by nature or by function. What does this mean? By nature means that expenses are grouped based on the source of the expense. All similar sources are grouped together. By function means that expenses are grouped based on what the business used the expenses for. This can also be viewed as grouping costs by activity. Often the whole concept of by nature versus by function confuses students. So let's do an example to clarify what by nature and by function actually means. Assume you work for Green Inc. The business has three departments, production, sales and marketing, and administration. Each of these departments have the following costs. The cost of raw materials consumed during production, employee benefit costs, including wages, payroll taxes, health care costs, etc., depreciation and amortization costs with regards to long-lived assets, utility costs for communication, water, and electricity, and finally, other expenses, which would include all other costs incurred to generate revenue. You can quickly see that total costs for this business are $3,205,000. What would show on the face of the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income if Green Inc. was reporting their expenses by function? Cost of goods sold of $2,616,000 to represent the costs incurred by the production department. Selling expenses of $366,000 to represent the costs incurred by the sales and marketing departments. Administration expenses of $223,000 to represent the costs due to the administration department. And finally, interest expense of $54,000. Remember from my previous video that IFRS requires financing costs to be shown separately. Total expenses for Green Inc. would be $3,259,000. These expenses are on the face of the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income. However, if a business chose a condensed statement format, they would likely list only two lines on the face of the statement. Operating costs of $3,205,000 with a reference to a note and interest expense of $54,000 because this line must always be shown on the face of the statement. The breakdown of the operating expenses would be provided in the notes to the financial statements, likely in the form of a schedule. If a condensed format is used, information must be provided in the notes to the financial statements. As you can see, expenses by function can be thought of as expenses by departments within the business. For example, cost of goods sold is made up of all the expenses used or consumed by the production department when they are producing goods. Are there any drawbacks to providing expenses by function? Actually, there is. When we provide expenses by function, we have to divide all costs into multiple departments. For example, amortization or utility costs may have to be allocated. This requires professional judgment because costs are sometimes allocated using cost drivers. As you may remember from managerial accounting, the cost drivers used to allocate costs between departments may not represent 100% of the costs in the cost pool. Allocations are, by their very nature, estimations. This must be understood when you see an income statement with costs presented by function. What about presenting expenses by nature? Let's go back to our example. If Green Inc. reports their expenses by nature, they would group expenses that have a similar source together. For example, employee benefit costs may be divided by department, but all of these expenses are from the same source, employees working for the company. Depreciation and amortization can also be divided by department, but all of these expenses are from the same source, which is using long-lived assets in the operation of the business. Expenses by nature means that all expenses with a similar source are grouped together on the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income. Therefore, for Green Inc., the statement would present Raw materials consumed would be $1,246,000. 
employee benefit costs from all departments would be $1,149,150. Depreciation and amortization expense for the whole company would be $529,650. Utility costs would be $48,200 and other costs would be $232,000. Finally, interest expense would be $54,000. Notice that the total of $3,259,000 is exactly the same as the total expenses by function. The expenses are simply categorized using a different method. By function or by nature, what does IFRS say? Actually, IFRS states that when an entity chooses to report their expenses by function, they must also provide the same information by nature. At a minimum, businesses reporting their expenses by function must also disclose the following, either on the face of the statement or as a note to the statement. Cost of inventory charged to expenses, employee benefit costs, depreciation and amortization costs. This means that information by nature is a required, while information by function is optional. Note that ASPE does not require expenses by either function or nature. Entities using ASPE can choose to disclose what they feel is relevant to their stakeholders. So, which method is better for the stakeholders? It depends on what the stakeholders need to make an informed decision. For instance, a retailer such as Walmart reports by function on the face of their income statement because, for manufacturers, wholesalers and retailers, the focus is on the cost of goods sold and gross profit. Analysis of gross profit provides important information with regards to inventory prices and costs. Other businesses may also prefer by function. Pfizer Inc. reports by function because they have huge expenses related to research and development. If Pfizer reported by nature, those costs would be largely hidden within the employee benefit costs. This is because a large portion of research and development costs are attributed to payroll costs. Other businesses provide expenses by nature on the face of their statement because their business model supports this type of grouping. For instance, Royal Bank of Canada reports their expenses by nature. This makes sense since their business does not have a cost of goods sold. Expenses grouped by nature is more informative to their stakeholders. How does all this translate into a question you may see on a test or exam? Well, you may get a statement of income, comprehensive income, and be asked, is this by nature? Or by function. You may get a listing of accounts which includes both and then be asked to produce a statement by either function or nature. If you include all the expenses on your statement then the expenses will be double what they actually are. The key here is to be able to differentiate the expenses by function from the expenses by nature. That way you can produce the statement requested. Let's just check your understanding with regards to these concepts. Remember to pause the video before I answer the question for you. If the line item called distribution costs was included on an income statement, are expenses presented by function or by nature? The answer is B, by function. Distribution or delivery costs are the costs incurred by the sales department and are therefore considered a by function presentation. That's it for the presentation of expenses on the Statement of Income Comprehensive Income. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful for your learning. Come, come, come on.